all right hey everyone welcome back to another video here and today what we're going to be looking at is a new speed controller in this package and then we're going to show you how to hook it up to your battery solder some things together and hook it up on whatever razor scooter you want to put it on i'm doing it for my razor e300 but if you're doing it for an mx350 like some of my subscribers wanted to see then that's what this video is for today so all you're going to need here is you want to go on ebay link in description and you want to go ahead and order one of these 48 volt DC 1000 watt controller about 10 to 15 dollars to buy only problems they are coming from Hong Kong and China so you want to make sure that you have enough time to kind of be patient they're probably gonna take at max like two weeks to get arrived but I'm telling you they are worth it you just have to make sure you don't pop these because they are very easy to pop if you don't plug in something correctly so that's why I'm here for you guys today. So I'm going to show you all how to hook these up. The only thing I'm going to show you how to hook up is the throttle, motor, battery, and your, um, if you have a key switch throttle, which I have on my razor here, then you won't need anything else. But what you'll do is if you have a key switch throttle, you're going to hook it up to this one here. And they label it derailleur. And you want to hook three of them that match those colors up to there and the other two that could be blue and yellow like mine you hook it up to this one called power locks and what the other two wires do that hook up to this is that's basically your key switch this is your whole circuit for this whole thing i know it doesn't look too different from the other connectors but this is actually your on and off fuse so that's what you're going to hook up if you have a key switch now if you have a throttle that has just the throttle, you hook the 3 up to this, and then you make your own switch and just hook it up to there. You can cut it off, strip it, whatever makes you happy. You can hook up whatever you want that connects these two wires together. So it's pretty simple, it's a lot easier than it sounds, and I'm going to go over all of it. So what we're going to do is go ahead and take this and your battery into the deck of our Razor. Alright, so it's actually pretty simple from here. This little piece here I'm just separating from this wire so they don't arc, but onto this. So we're going to go ahead and start it off with the basically hardest thing, but it's not really that hard, is your throttle. So what I've done with all this glue stuff is I have glued these terminals, I ignore these two wires for now. You see the green, black, and red. I've glued them in this kind of pattern to where you can easily plug it in and out of your derailleur here. So all I'm going to have to do is match it up plug it right in to the derailleur it's kind of hard to do with one hand but you kind of fiddle with it and these stock connectors that come with these here you can easily plug into those so you just plug that in and that's basically step one so as you can see that easily plugs in when I make that little blue outline so how I easily make that is you take the three connectors originally and just slide them in the socket and you add some glue around it and let it dry like hot glue and then you just kind of slowly peel it off so that it sticks together like that so sorry for the focusing issues here but next step is these two wires here and the some of them may be different colors it doesn't matter what they are it's just these two here so what we're going to go ahead and do with those is the best thing to do if you don't have a proper connector is to just go ahead and with your power locks just strip it off but I actually have some spare connectors for these I'm going to use to make it easier to show you how to do it but if you don't have that the easiest way to do it without anything is you cut off this connector and you just strip the wires for some copper and then you instantly just twist them together and that's it and you just put something to cover them up after like some tape or something it's really that easy all you have to make sure is sometimes with your throttles they won't they won't work right and if you plug them in uh, the wrong way it's not that big of a deal however when the key switch is off it'll want to be on so make sure you leave the key switch off and if you plug the two in and nothing's showing up here but then whenever you twist it it shows up that's the right way so then you're good to go from there so what I went ahead and did was these two wires here I wrapped up these two ends onto these spare little connectors I cut off from a different controller that popped and or a different throttle that messed up and basically these two here make it so easy all you have to do is find your power locks again plug these in and that's it you're basically done with the throttle 
However, once you do that, you want to plug in your battery and test if that works or not, which will be the next step. But before we get on to that, what you're probably going to want to do, which is optional, is the soldering iron that I was talking about, or the gun. You can easily solder these and make sure that nothing comes loose and it'll make a better connection, which I'm going to do. I'm just going to slowly go over them, just a tiny bit, just like 30 seconds long. And once I do those two, I'm just going to put like some uh, hot glue or something to insulate it. And after I do that, all I'm going to do is plug these two in. And then after, well, I'm going to unplug them. And then I'm going to plug this in and then plug those back in to see if we did this correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. <clears throat> Alright guys, so I kind of wanted to shorten this video a little bit because I figured most of y'all could figure the rest out. But this is kind of my final product. So the only two things I had to do was for the battery, don't get confused. This is actually the motor plug-in. I just glued two little connectors in for the motor. Made sure they're the right, um, make sure the motor is the right uh, polarity before you get it in. <clears throat> and then I made this connector from a different speed controller to my battery down there. For my battery, I recommend buying a lithium one so you can charge it single. And then that's how you can charge it. And then, what else? And then I have this plugged in, glued, and that glued in. Everything's plugged in nice and good. So that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just three connections or four. And you just go ahead and wrap everything up good and kind of space everything out, tuck it all in, and then put on your cover. So I'll see you guys whenever I'm done. Okay, so this is the final product after I got everything put together. Everything still works. Works great. So, battery's not fully charged just because I haven't ran it in a long time. But, uh, yeah, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope this helped y'all solve the whole throttle issue. I know it's kind of confusing when you buy these controllers and you really want to get into modding these scooters, but let me tell you, when you learn that, it is so fun and I really, it's inspiration to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope y'all understand everything. You can still leave plenty of comments. Y'all can load my comments full of whatever y'all want. I will answer. And uh, if y'all have any comments about like, uh, if you have different color wires or stuff like that and how to hook them up, I can let y'all know that too. So be sure to leave plenty of questions, feel free, and be sure to like and subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.